Ring, ring. Wow, it only took you four seconds to call me. You must be very desperate for my help. Well, do not fear. This is Papyrus's helpful, oh sorry, hotful helpline. Just describe your location and I will describe some hot tips. So, where are you? You're still in my room. <laughs> Have you heard of something called a door? Wait, don't worry. I'll draw a diagram for you. Alright, so that was the date. That was the date with Papyrus. And I believe this is Sans' room up here. I don't believe we can do anything with it at the moment. But, uh, maybe later. So, the date has ended. And we will be moving on. Eh, it's pretty, pretty successful. Pretty successful date, I'd say. As successful as a date could be. Something on the floor. What is this? It's nothing. I thought it was. I'm such an adventure gamer. Everything I see, I just really want to uh, look at. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Ha ha ha. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Welp, I just fucking ruined that because, yep, this is an echo flower. It, ugh, damn it. Save my game. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Your incredibly diff difficult job. Over here, I know a shortcut. Aw, oh, yeah, the grilbs. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, everyone. I talk like William Shatner. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans! Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansie. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here before breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> that was a joke. Here, get comfy. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries or a burger? Mmm, french fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Groovy, we'll have a double order of fries. Mmm. French fries, food of the gods. So, what do you think? Of my brother. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. Ah! I love papyrus. Mmm, french fries, looks like mac and cheese. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yeah! Bone appetit. Bone! Pawns. You tip the ketchup. Oh. It's blood! The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Uh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anymore anyway. I must itch my butt. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree. Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the royal guard. One day, we went to the house of the head of the royal guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Uh-oh, serious moment, ahoy. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Aww. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Uh, yeah, yes I have. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. So, he's talking about the marsh flower, but in that first thing, obviously the talking flower has to be flowy. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. 
keep an eye out, okay? It's flowy! Thanks. I mean, uh, obviously it has to be flowy. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work that long. Oh, by the way. I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 gold. Uh, I'm gonna say yes just to see. Just kidding. Groovy, put it on my tab. I have a feeling his tab is like a million dollars. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Oh, huh, forget about it. What about this, these fries, though? There's perfectly good fries here. One's ketchup dumped, but... Hello, dog! I just had to do that before we left. Okay, so we can be on our way now. I don't, I don't think there's still anything up here. I gotta keep checking, though, just in case. Something, I don't know. There's a lot of things I haven't discovered in this game. Ah, oh, to be young again, the world sure felt boundless. Alright, you're just still the same rock with the same moustache. A moustachioed rock. I'm sure we'll see Papyrus again. Actually, I kind of want to call him here, too, just to see what he says. Ring, ring. Snowden, home of Papyrus. Uh, that's the slogan, right? <laughs> that was not a hot tip. That was just cockiness. But whatever, it works. All right, we're out of Snowden. That was one of my favorite parts of the entire game, was going out on a date with Papyrus. And once I get back, I'm gonna save my game again. I'll talk to the Echo Flower just to see. All that gives my life validation is explaining the Echo Flower. <laughs> no one can know. Oh, this poor guy. All right, let's save. All right, let's continue on. Let's hang out again sometime. Let's uh, keep going this way. Let's see here. This is a box. You can put an item or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. I hate box haters. Use the box, yes. Well, let's see. I don't think much has changed here. I don't need any of that. Spider candy. I've got plenty of stuff in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and not use the box. What's in the box? I think I can get hit by these. Can I get... Nope, can't get hit. But here's a flower. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Oh, ooh, ah. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. I assume that's what they meant. Just the camera, or maybe I can go this way. There we go, there's a secret! There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Take it. You're carrying too much. Oh crap, I do need to use the box. All right. Let's put, um, I have a lot of stuff here. Hang on, let me check and see what the tough glove does again, because I might... I'm gonna go ahead and... I always get all, like, uh, anxious when I need to put something away. What is the tough glove? What does that do? Tough glove. Weapon at five. Oh, that's a weapon. Well, I don't... I'm gonna give... I'm actually gonna put that in the box. And if I need it, it will be in the box. It's no big deal. I'm gonna pick up this tutu instead. You got the old tutu. Wow, that is rank. Okay, let's wear it. Actually, let's get some info on it. Old tutu, armor defense 10. Finally, a protective piece of armor. Oh, good. Let's actually equip that. Where'd it go? Old tutu. You equip the old tutu. I don't think there's anything else down here, but I'll give it a quick little run around before we uh, move on here. Is there something down here? Something down here? I don't think so. Just want to make sure. Alright, cool. Let's go. Let us go. Let us go. Oh, that looks ominous.
It's Undyne. Traitor! Uh, hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? I yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Oh, well, no. I tried very hard on Dine, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them, you see? You see? Eh, uh, eh, uh, what was I saying? Just kidding. <laughs> I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh, the royal guard! Uh-oh. Well, I'm an idiot. I just made a bunch of noise. Shh, don't say anything. It's like a dinosaur. If we don't move, she can't see us. Because that's legit, right? This is very tense right now. Nope, I don't think she cares. Oh, that was close. Woo! Oh, hey. Little dinosaur. Speaking of dinosaurs. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I am so jealous. What do you do to get her attention? Haha. Ha. Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Boom. <laughs> that kid has such brain damage from falling every two seconds. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. All right. Grab these thi- whoops! Oh... That didn't happen. Everything's fine. Nothing is messed up. Ta-da! It's all good. Just throw them recklessly. Ugh. I haven't done much experimenting with uh, the way you can use these flowers, but I know there's secrets among the uh, um, in these parts of the games, but I have not discovered them. Aaron flexes in. Hey, I think we need to flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for both of you. Flex and contest. Okay, flex more. Whoops, Aaron. Aaron, why you do that? Aaron is ready for your next flex. Take that. Ugh. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases. Nice. I won't lose though. Wink. I have raindrops. Aaron is ready for your next flex. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. Bye-bye. Ah, Alright. So the first time I did this, uh, this little puzzle here... There's an easy way to do this, but, um, <laughs> I actually went down, like, all the way over here for some reason and started, <laughs> and started, can I put them over here? What happens if I do that? Hmm, that was a waste. I just wanted to see if anything happened. I don't think anything's gonna happen, though. There's different things you can do with these little flowers to get, well, well, all right, might as well finish it up. Oh my god, that does not good. That's not how you get secrets, but yeah, I know there's a secret in here. I don't know it offhand, but uh, it's okay. The first time I did this, I actually went all the way over here and uh, put them this way. And that's complete... Lee wrong! Don't mind me! I'm just having a bit of a moment. Here, I'll show you how I how I actually did this the first time. Uh, let me make sure I'm in the right spot here. Yeah. So this is how I did this the first time. I went all the way over here and just did them in a row like this. There's an easier way to do this, but this is how I did it. I don't know why. Doing this came to me easy, easier than the other ways, but it worked. Ring. 
Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? What will you say? Uh, yeah, I don't think it matters what we say here. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Click. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. This flower's attacking me. Washua shuffles up. Hey, Washua. Let's clean. Clean time. You ask Washua to clean you. That's weird. It hops around excitedly. Yay, soap. Green means clean. So we need to get the green things. Washua is friends with a little bird. Aww. So he is. Oh, I can just spare him. So let's go ahead and... Uh, how do I... Forgot how to play this game. How do I go back? Here we go. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Look through the telescope? Sure. Check wall. That's what that says. When you go over here, it is supposed to be a hint. Yes. Uh... Seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. That's gotta be Papyrus. He's the one who who gave a crap. What's this in here? It's down here. Nothing is down here. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster. Just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul? A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. That doesn't look like a drawing. Just saying. Just saying. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover its edges. Oh, hello, little dummy. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Nah. You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Uh-oh. I didn't beat it up. I didn't touch it. I didn't touch it. Fuck. Fuck. 